So, hello everybody, grade 4 students. Welcome to another science class with me, teacher Nico. So, for today's topic was all about light energy. Okay, everybody say light energy. Light energy, very good. So, light energy. You see an object because the light that it on it reflects back. And that reflected light makes us see the object. Okay? What about the light? So, is all the light hitting an object is reflected back? Yes, all the light is reflected back or no? Okay, no, all the light is not reflected back because some of it are absorbed. Okay? So let's uh, let's see an example. Oh, this one, the bag, okay? All the light hitting the object cannot pass through it. The light is absorbed by the bag. Okay? You can see now, this is why solid object has shadow. Okay? And then, the area exactly behind the bag is darker as light is not able to pass through it. Okay? So, this is what we call shadow. So, we have different kinds of objects. We have transparent objects. Objects that let all the light to pass through them are called transparent objects. So, what are the example of transparent objects? Example, we have glass. Very good. So, this is an example. We have window pane, spectacle, car windshield, ball, thermometer, aquarium, transparent sheet, ice, and clean water. Also, clean water is a transparent object. You can see the details of objects on the other side of transparent objects. So next we have translucent object. So allow some light to pass through them and some light is absorbed or reflected back. Okay. Translucent object can be but not completely. So these are the example. We have tinted window, frosted glass, sunglasses, wax paper, glass containing colored liquid, oil paper, colored syrup, and gemstone. Also gem gemstone. Okay. So next we have opaque object. Objects that do not let any light to pass through them are called opaque objects. Example is that one, the bag. Some of the light is reflected back and some is absorbed. Example, we have football, battery, pillow, dead bear, plastic cup, and pen stand. Okay? Yes. So light consists of seven colors. Did you know that? Okay. So we can see the seven colors of light using this one as prism. Okay. When we allow a beam of white light to pass through a glass prism, prism, sorry, the white light splits into seven colors. You can see. So what are the seven colors? We have violet, indigo, blue. Green, yellow, orange, and red. So this is what we call Roy GB. Okay? Roy GB. Light is made up of seven colors. White light splits into seven colors in a rainbow hue. So this example is on this is what we call dispersion of light. Uh, we will take a red color. Okay? The red color is reflected because of which it appears red to us. So the uh, the six colors absorb the red and also and then only the red colors. You see that example. The other one is green. All the six colors absorb and the green 
color is reflected because of which it appears green to us. Okay? How about another white? White colored objects reflect all the light or all colors of the light and absorb none. That's why they appear white. Okay? Black colored objects absorb all the colors or all the light falls from it. So all, that's why your object is black. So you know what? Black colored objects absorb all colors. That's why black clothes make us feel hot in the sun because they absorb more light. White colored clothes make us feel better when it's sunny outside because they reflect all the light and absorb none. Yes. So, we should wear white clothes when it's sunny or hot outside. And we wear dark clothes when it's sunny or cold outside. So again, we have the three objects. We have translucent objects, opaque objects, and transparent objects. So I think that's all for today. See you again next time. Goodbye!